Many people have asked the question as to what distinguishes the human, that is Homo sapiens, from other animal species, particularly our closest uh, primate relatives like the chimpanzees or the great apes. In this book, I argue that at least one distinguishing feature is crying. By crying here, I'm referring to tears, and I'm referring particularly to tears which are provoked by emotions. Obviously, if you throw some irritant into an animal's eye, they will cry. But the fascinating thing about human crying is that it is provoked uh, by emotional events. Now, uh, one of the things that uh, has particularly interested me has been what circumstances lead to crying in humans, emotional crying. And there are several obvious ones, but the heart of it really has to do with loss, bereavement, grief, but also art. So one of the ideas behind the book is to look at differences between different arts and the way that they rise up different emotions uh, within us. I've done a few surveys uh, all around the world asking different audiences which of the arts is most likely to lead them to cry. And I'm afraid music comes up and wins all the time. So there are links between music and crying for emotional effects. So this brings us on to asking a rather different question, which is, uh, firstly, what might the underlying neuroanatomy be that distinguishes humans from, for example, the chimpanzees, that leads not only to the provocation of tears for emotional events, but also leads to our um, interest and our experiences with music. The other part of the book has to do with the art form of tragedy. Now, tragedy, many people would say, uh, arose for the first time in classical Greek theater. But uh, in the book, I uh, look at the development of tragedy with a capital T in relationship to ordinary human tragedy with a small t and put this in an evolutionary perspective. In other words, at what point in evolutionary time did tragedy emerge? At what point in time did our early hominid ancestors begin to cry, not only for emotional reasons uh, to do with art forms, which must have come later, but simply to do with loss and bereavement and the tragedy of being a sentient human being?